So today, I'm going to show you how to join the Los Santos Police Department in Grand Theft Auto in glorious VR. And that's the important bit, in glorious VR, because since uh, Luke Ross stopped supporting his VR mod for Grand Theft Auto, it's, well, for me, I haven't been able to play it. The uh, LS, is it LSPDFR mod? Yes, that's the one it is, which enables you to be a police officer in Grand Theft Auto. So first and foremost, I'm going to give out a massive uh, thank you and a big shout out to Game247, Stephen, who owns this uh, YouTube channel, has made it possible for me to do this. And made it possible for us all to enjoy it. I don't know where he got the idea from and I don't care. As far as I'm concerned, he's the guy we have to thank. So please go over there, give him a sub and have a look at his videos because he's got some great tutorial videos here. Everything you need to know about this mod, there it is, LSPDFR. Yes, I was right. He knows and it's all it tells you how to do everything. All the shit I don't know about, he knows about. All I'm going to show you today is basically how to install it. And I'm going to show you from scratch how to install it. I'm just going to shut that down now. So, first of all, we need to install the VR mod. Now, all the links are going to be in the description. And they're linked to uh, Gaming 24-7. Uh, and we're going to start right now. So, first of all, let's open in your Steam library, because this is for Steam. And for those people who want to know what I'm running this on, I'm running it on a, on a 3060. I just want to smoke that blunt. And I'm also drinking today... A bottle of San Miguel, just out of the fridge. I'll just have a little drink now, because it's, it's fucking lovely. Mmm. Oh, that's nice. Ugh. Right. So we'll open this up by right-clicking on it, going down to Manage, scrolling across, and selecting Browse Local Files. We'll just close this so we can see what we're doing. There. Those are your local files. I'm not going to install any of the optional mods that I will have links for, like the uh, graphics card, which makes it look fantastic. I'm just going to install these four here, which you definitely need. So we will start with this, which is the VR mod. Uh, play the game for a couple of minutes first before you install this. And before you can play this, well, before you can actually go and... Uh, go on duty as a police officer you have to have got past the prologue so just play past the prologue i suggest if you haven't played grand theft auto in vr you play the entire story mode in vr and then play this so this is how you do it drag this into there making sure you don't drop it in any of these subfolders let's just scroll that up now so i can see it better there it is select it right click and select extract here and it will extract it just move that down i've got a copy of that there haven't i yeah so i've got a copy there so i don't have to worry about this i can now delete that if it doesn't leave a copy for you i suggest you just drag it back but you'll need a copy just in case there's updates which there will be because uh well rockstar they're just like that i'm going to call them a name then but i won't anyway there you go real config double click on that and this should happen. I always select medium and then after I've installed the graphics card, not the graphics card, I keep saying that, the graphics mod. Once I've installed the graphics mod, I can turn all my settings up. But I'm just going to start with M for medium. And this will this will configure all your settings. Let me just lift my headset up so I can see what I'm doing. There, M on the keyboard and then any key on the keyboard to continue. There, that's that done. That was pretty easy. Now we need to roll it back. Hmm. So these here are the rollback files. So it'll roll it back to, is it 2612? Select that and select extract here. And that will extract that to there. Is it done yet? Now it's done. Let's drag this over here and open it up. And uh, we'll move that over here. We can make this a little smaller. Because we don't have to see all this crap here. We just have to see this. 
drag that over there see that how to downgrade well I'm going to show you how to downgrade so you don't have to read that so you can delete that it's just in the way and now we can just move this over there see how I've scrolled down so those are out of the way like I said you drop it in one of them and it will not work there we go just select these four and drag and drop them into here and then click on replace and it will replace all those files then you want to scroll up a little bit right to the top actually and then select this one update double click you see these two update folders there well two files sorry that's what we're going to replace with these two here so we'll select them not that one do that again michael so select them drag them across drop them click on play, replace and they will replace them too so we can close this down now now what we need is this it's a bypass uh, file very much needed so select again and select extract here and that should extract it there and this is very easy you just go back one so we're at the main folder again just scroll down a little bit so we don't drop it in one of those subfolders drag this across and drop it there there it is wasn't that easy and finally this one we'll just make sure that's unselected drag this into there make sure everything's all those folders are out of the way release there it is select it select extract here and extract it here now this is the important bit see where it says yes to all i would normally say click on that don't click on that oh no click on no to all and it'll do that now let's just scroll up here a little bit and you will find this little folder here lspdfr folder double click and you'll find the lspdfr configurator double click again and this will happen Ooh, click on next Ooh. show license do, 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 do. and this will pop up and you'll have a little countdown read all this crap and then accept and you get a nice little tick there isn't that nice now there you go choose do it for me and you get another nice little tick and been in, uh, installed successfully which is brilliant let's have a drink hold on with my headset up so i know where my bottle is there it is hmm i decided not to smoke any uh any shit before i did this video there well not right before i did the video anyway uh and that's that done so now we just click on there to go back and we scroll all the way down until we find rage plug select it right click see that there create shortcut click on that and it will create a shortcut right there so select that shortcut and drag it out of the folder and drop it there on your desktop now we can close this and hopefully we've done everything i'm going to put that up there now if you want to play the game normally story mode or whatever or whatever you want to just in vr click that play but if you want to play as a police officer click this because this is what will start up the lspd fr mod so we're just going to double click on that and we're going to keep our fingers crossed and hope it works where's my controller hold on this is also compatible with a uh, the steering wheel mod i'll put a link again i'll put the link it's brilliant with the steering wheel uh, mod installed let's double click and sit back this will happen and then something else up this will happen now this will only happen the first time you're on the game and see this here i'm going to lift my headset up so i can change that 10,000 into 60,000 by changing the one to six like this six 
there. We'll go to plugins and just make sure that that's selected and that is, which it is. We'll go to advanced, none of this you have to bother with. Go to game settings, go here, and you know what Rockstar's like, they're always backing the games up. With this game, I don't really think that anything that Rockstar do is going to affect this plugin. It might do, but just in case, let's back it up because it only takes this long. If Rockstar do update the game, it's probably going to be the game that it affects. So what you have to do is use the rollback files again. And when you run the game for the first time, if it asks you for, to uh, search, if you'd like to search for a up, more up-to-date script up, always select no. In fact, anything it asks you to do, if you can select no, select no. You know, as far as updates are concerned. And Rockstar. Uh, right. So now all you have to do is click on save and launch. So we'll click on save and launch, yeah? And then OK. Ooh. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Oh, fuck. Now you can say yes to Steam, because we like Steam. But Rockstar can fuck off. They're not asking for... Oh, well, normally I'll get a little pop-up saying, do you want to look for a, an updated or a more recent script hook? The script hook you need, the script hook you need is in the VR mod. It's all included. And all this is free, which is brilliant. Now, what should be happening in a bit is when I look down there, we should see the uh, rage hook. Emblem, or whatever it is, let's have a look, no. Yes, there it is. So if you can't see that, and you don't see 2612 as a build, there's something wrong. Start again. It's very easy to miss something with this. Do -do 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 -do. I've got a video, if you all, all you see when you start the game is a black screen and a little mini map down there, have a look through my videos. I've got a video that'll tell you how to fix that. And there's also one where it, the game starts in theatre mode. I've also got a video that'll tell you how to fix that. Although I'm sure there's an easier way to do it. I just can't find the easier way. So I found another way, which isn't quite as easy. I'm going to have another drink. In a bit, it does that and you think, oh, God, it's crashed. What am I got? And then that happens because it hasn't. So don't, here we are. And as you can see, oh shit, wrong button. I am Michael. There I am. There. And I'm in VR. I'm just going to walk out the house. Do, 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 do. It's a lovely day. Looks pretty good even without the, uh, even with the settings on medium. Still looks pretty good. Anyway, I'm going to click on the map and I'm uh, going to go all the way down to this. I could go to this one and there's one there, police stations, but I want to go to this one because this is the one you can walk into. I don't know if you can walk into any of the other ones, but this one you can. So we're going to drive to that one. And I've got the sound turned down, the volume here. Right. Uh, radio station. Where is it? Music volume. I've got that turned down because otherwise every time I get in a car the music comes on. Just shake me head because that's what you do to recenter yourself with Luke Ross's mods. Yeah, I don't want music coming on. There's one copyright and two I don't want music coming on when I get in a police car. <laughs> Who's that? Are they talking to me? Right, just re... Yeah, it's okay. So I should be able to walk through the door here. Oh, look, isn't this brilliant? I don't even... Can you do this without this mod? I don't think you can. So we're going to go... We're going to go in here. And there we go. Oh, look. She's a big girl. Uh, go here. And then you press on your directional button. Like that. Now, 
doctor, go on duty. I'm going to press on go on duty and it's going to tell me I can't do that because I need to change characters. Luke, told you. So I'm going to press A on my gamepad. And it's going to take me here. Look. Ooh. No. I'll choose that one. I don't care. I'm not going to mess about with any of this because I'm just showing you how to get it started. All right, Dan. We'll use Dan. Dan looks like he's been on drugs. There's Dan. What else? The police locker. And we're going to put a uniform on him. God, he, looks, he could do with an haircut, couldn't he? Look at the fucking state of him. Right, confirm. Police garage. And I'm going to choose that one. Dan looks like a girl. Never mind. I'm not going to do any of the modifications. I'll leave that for you, so I'll, you, you can be all excited about that. What modifications have you got, Michael? I'm not going to tell you. Right, select and continue. So, I'm going to find out how I request jobs, so when I do play this, when I've got a bit of time, because I've got no time at the moment, I'm waiting until I get a little bit of annual leave in the next month, and then I won't have to drive round for so long before I do get a job. Units reporting there you go. 148 in Davis. Okay. In where Davis? We have the suspect Catch. Oh, he's here. There he is. Look how brilliant this is. This is brilliant. <laughs> See, now my heart's racing. Dispatch. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> I was swearing, man. Is it? Is it him? Should I just shoot him? Where is it? Fuck! 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 So I'm going to leave you now, this is brilliant. <laughs> okay, suspect has now left the freeway. Oh, oh shit! 